Rockstar, you've disappointed me once again. As you can see, the car I'm sitting in right now is the brand new car that Rockstar added to the game this weekly update. This car is the Tundra Panther and it is a very nice car in my opinion, but Rockstar apparently doesn't like for us to have nice things. If you have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that Rockstar has removed a car from GTA once. Well, technically more than once, but once that I've covered. This was with the Weenie Issy Rally, which they added to the game uh, just a couple of weeks ago. This car was in the game for about a week before they removed it, and it still hasn't returned. Well, Rockstar is doing the same thing with this car, and they will be removing it at the end of this event week, which I don't even know why. Just like the previous car, a lot of people are speculating that they're doing this to sort of scare players into buying this car. If you didn't know by now, this car goes for $2.17 million, so it is a fairly expensive car. Most players don't just have this kind of money sitting around. That means if they wanted to buy this car and fear that they'll never get to buy it again, they're going to have to do one of two things. One, they're going to have to hop on the game and grind for about two hours to have enough money to afford this car. And two, they're going to have to buy shark cards. So basically, the only reason Rockstar is doing this is to sort of force players to play their game or spend money on their game. This is honestly getting very aggravating as if you're just going to remove the car, what's the point in adding it in the first place? It honestly just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't really know what else to say, there's not much to cover, it's probably going to be a short video, but this car is being removed at the end of this event week. If you want to purchase it for $2.1 million, that's up to you, but just know you may never get this car again.